Hey everybody. Hey everybody. How's it going? We have got a new pop to talk about. Actually, we've got our hands on a few pops. So, we really like the show Demon Slayer. Yep, really good. And Demon Slayer, if you haven't seen that show, if you're into anime, it's it's a great show. It's really cool artwork. Cool storyline. I will say for the littler kids, it's a bit violent. I mean, the name of the show is Demon Slayer. If you couldn't figure out that it's kind of a violent show, well, what can I tell you? Yeah, the animation it's, is really good. Yeah, it's got a neat kind of anime style to it. And the character development, the character design is really neat. I'd say it's, you know, kind of on par with... You doing all right? Mm -hmm. All right. Character design is pretty much like on par with My Hero Academia to where every character is very unique. Very unique. Unique styles, unique color, color that kind of matches their style. It's cool. Yeah, and it's, the animation is almost as good as Attack on Titan. Oh, I kind of prefer Demon Slayer to Attack on Titan, but that's just me. But we have now this one's just the common. There's a few different variations. Variations, but Inosuke Hashibara. Inosuke Hashibara is a funny, funny character. Funny character. Car comic relief, and he's most certainly strong. He's probably str the physically strongest between the three main characters. Yeah, in a in a show where physical strength really doesn't mean a whole heck of a lot, he is the physically strongest. So, yeah, out of the but three main characters. It's and it's funny that he he wears this mask of a, of a boar's head because he is by far the most pig-headed of the characters as a actual char you know character trait. He is pig-headed. It's so I'll give charges a, in. I'll and, give a little backstory. So okay. like, he was just like as a kid abandoned in the middle of the woods yep. and like a pack of boars decided to rape like picked him up and raised him mm -hmm. and um through and he how he figured out to he came across a low-level demon slayer and then beat that guy up and took his sword as a reward and then he heard of the final selection and then went there yeah so we got this pop this is not the flocked one and it's obviously not the unmasked one but there's i think chalice collectibles has the flocked. has the flocked the chase is the unmasked the chase is the unmasked but we're going to get this guy out of the box. You're going to be careful about that. Oh, that's neat. Got a little... His face when he's angry. Yep. And I can see on here, on in the little insert right there, it says Pig Assault, which is one of his little signature things that he says when he charges in. So, in this anime, if you don't know, uh, everyone uses different types of breathing styles. And he uses beast breathing. Yeah. Which he taught to himself. Okay, so this one comes with a stand. So that's that's neat if we were going to display him out of box. Check it out. Oh, looks like I'm in Osuke. Yeah, that's yeah. cool. Let's look under his mask. Nope, no details under his mask. Nope, no under the mask details. Just... Just very cool. He's got his... This is his most basic stance that he's in all the time. Cool thing is, his swords, he kind of... He used a rock to... He he takes a normal sword and just bangs the serrations in with a rock. Yeah, and he he does it to, like, so that it tears through flesh easy. Yeah, he's, he's all about, you know, hunter kind of stuff and, you know, being a predator kind of thing. That's, that's his deal. Now, he was raised by boars and he... Wears a boar's head as a mask. Yeah. That might have been... They... That might have been interesting. But... Huh. But, hey, it's a neat-looking pop. What do you think about that pop? Yeah, that's cool. That's... Yeah, super cool. Like, it's got the... Got the wraps on his... On his handles there. Yeah, he doesn't usually use sheaths. He just has them bandaged up. And then, like, whenever he needs to use them, he just unbandages them. Nice. Our, the introduction to um, Inosuke oh, is really legs. really funny and really cool. Like, w when you go to the drum demon arc. Yep, yep. 
and he scares um, Zenetsu, which, what doesn't scare him, that's Zenetsu. Yeah, Zenetsu's the lightning-breathing guy, and he's scared of his own shadow. But, but yeah, he gets, I'd say this one, this one ranks up there in just overall cool-looking pops. Yes. I like it. I like the show, I like the pop. They did a good job, especially like with the eyes and everything. The eyes and the swords, everything about the mask. It's very cool. They did yeah. they did a good job on this one. So next one we have is the Tanjiro Kamado using this is the main character, and he's using the constant flux ability. And it's the box that should glow in the dark. And so we could can't wait to open up this pop. That's cool. He has the double plastic because he's big. Very good. Also, very good. See right there. Much prefer when they have the the double plastics. Oh, what you got? It says water breathing can form constant flux, which is the thing that he's using in the in the pop. Yep. Let's get him out of the little plastic insert there. There you go, man. That one looks that one looks even better. Yeah. That one's so much cooler. It's, it doesn't need a little base. No, not at it all. It just does that. But yeah, this is super cool. When he first uses, you can kind of like track the movements of his sword. Because like the water dragon follows his sword. Yeah, super cool. Oh, neat. I didn't notice that. What? Yeah, the fact that the water actually starts at the blade. Let's see. It starts at the blade. Well, if you haven't guessed his ability is like water. Kind of goes around water like breathing. that. That is super neat. Yeah. And then he also inherited from his father... The uh, Hinokami Kagura. Hinokami Kagura. Dance. Which is like a fire style. So he's got fire and water. He's so Kakashi. Yeah. He's the, he's the He's the copy ninja. He's kind of in this... It's really neat that you don't need a stand. Like one of those stands that goes into the back. The, but he's in this really like... Fragile. They are. But he's in... Like a jumping stance. So in a pop that is in a jumping stance that doesn't need a special stand. You know, that that is cool. I love what they did with the shadowing of his hair. Yeah, that's really cool. I really so, like his hair in the anime. Yeah, the way they shadowed his hair from black into kind of Red. that burgundy is really neat. Yeah. You and, got his earrings there. Yeah, Tanjiro is the main character, and... Here's the set. We forgot to show the set with the Nosuke, oh, but yeah. has the set of comments. Yeah, it has the normal Tanjiro. It has Zenitsu, um, Nezuko, Nezuko, which is his sister. Mm -hmm. The Nosuke. This one's Zenitsu, and then we have Luzon, otherwise known as Michael Jackson. Yeah, he just looks so much like Michael Jackson from the '80s. It's, it's funny, you know. So, we're gonna. When it gets dark, we're going to make it dark. We're going to make this thing glow. And we'll post a little video of this thing on a doing its glow thing on the spinner. We'll yeah. probably end up posting Love these... That. A picture of these two on our Instagram. Oh yeah, absolutely. And at Tre oh, Toy Box Treasure Hunters, same thing. You can Dragon follow eyes. us. Yeah, follow us on the Instagram. Boom. Nice. All right. If you liked these Funko go. Pops, make um, drop a like and maybe consider subscribing. We are uh, real close to 600 subscribers. Yep. Working our way up. Yes. But we. We appreciate all you guys that watch our videos, that comment, that message us. Just know, love all you guys. Comment down below your favorite Demon Slayer character. Yeah, yeah do that. <laughs> all right. Well, that's going to do it for us this time. Thank you guys again. Don't love forget. you. Don't forget. Wash, wash your, your hands. hands. Catch you next time. Bye. Bye.